I think it's high time we do something on After Effects. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? <laughs> I've never said on this channel before that I'll be doing some After Effects today. I'm sorry about that. My bad. But today, I'll be doing some litty After Effects tutorial. It's something like a scribble effect. I've been seeing this in music videos lately. There's one particular guy on Instagram. He has been the like pioneer of this effect. It's like glowing neon effect. All you need to do this is a Wacom tablet or a graphic tablet and your stylus pen. What I have here is the neon graphic tablets in case you don't have this you can use your mouse this is what i have here and i have the stylus so i would say that let's dive in straight into this tutorial have you ever felt are you listening let's get straight into this tutorial right about now launch your after effect yeah that's what's up okay once you open your after effect go into the folder and drop your your video the video you'll be working on so drop the video in the comp create a comp with this video like a composition with the video after that command d on your keyboard or ctrl d to duplicate the video after that you double click on the video the next thing to do now is click on your brush tool hold on command d and drag your mouse drag your mouse to resize the brush When you are good with the size, then you can, you can continue. I think this is still a little bit big. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's get it started. You go to paint, you select single frame. Because you don't want you don't want your animation to be on all the frames. You want it to look like an animation. You don't want it to be there forever throughout the video so you select select single frame after that after selecting single frame you double click as i said earlier to create a new layer take away from the composition first thing first i have my own i have my I have my gra graphic tablet here, so if you have, you can, you can continue and join me as I take you through this, or use your mouse better. So you just have to follow the mechanics of like how they are moving, just to exaggerate a lot of things. And one of the principles of animation is exaggeration. Just, just to exaggerate. Some things just make him look as if he has superpowers. To move forward a frame, one frame you just have to hold on command, then your arrow direction, arrow key. One frame, mm -hmm. move frame by frame and draw it like this. This is not hard if your video is not too long. Yeah, as I said earlier, I said you have to exaggerate. It feels like the hand clash here, yeah, so that's why I'm putting, uh, putting those extras. Uh, that's when you put exaggeration. I'm making him look like he's charging, like uh, he has this electric, electric charge. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. It's fun. Don't forget all these who still glow. Oh, 
since she's looking now let me just put some stuff in the face okay she's about to get like she's about to get eat by strands so let me just put some in her face in her too This is that endurance, patience, perseverance will help you. Yeah. This I really don't want it to be too perfect though. For the sake of animation. For the sake of tutorial. Right? So, she's getting pretty charged up. Yeah, yeah. Charges will admit into our body. Getting into our body.
Let me just make you see if you drop in something. Yeah. Uh, don't play that now. Don't repeat. Yeah, since we've done some little animation, let us just play back and see what we have done. Okay, that's in yet. Yeah, it's charging. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Change my animation start from there. I press B on my keyboard to adjust my timeline. Then just right click here. Trim font to work here, right? So that's what I have here. The next thing now is just go to your effects. Then go to your composition. The composition you have the animation done on. You see effects, go to paint. The paint on transparent option, you toggle it by change it to on. You see, everything went black. Went black. You can see the video on the background again. You have to close this, then you can see the video again. After closing it, the next thing to do now is just go, go to type glow in your effect on presets panel glow okay. drag and drop glow and the footage then go to your glow based on how far channel because you want it to be uh, transparent i'll select a neon color something that can really glow in the dark yeah that's it I think it's glowing a little. You can just adjust your the numbers there. Your glow intensity. Bump it up. Yeah, that's cool. I think that's perfect. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. This is cool. I think I cool with this. So this is all about the tutorial. That is just it. You see, it's not hard. Pretty, pretty simple. Very, very simple. If I may want to show you more stuff, you can use hue and saturation. And if you want the colors to change, you can use hue and saturation, colorize, 
bring the saturation up a bit there. So we're animating the U here. The U. How do they call it? U. U. We're animating the U. Yes. Animate it again. We just want the color to be changing on every like every five seconds. And boom! Good. Let's play back again. See how it's changing. Is this not looking nice? Yeah. So guys, that that about this tutorial. Click on subscribe button and turn on your notification bell icon for more videos. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Without you guys, this channel won't grow. I appreciate your likes, your comment lately, your support. You've been watching this and thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. And subscribe for more, please. Thank you. Peace out.